Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now I know I could lose some momentum by posting this but I really do not care. And in today's video we shall be having an open discussion about this so called top 11 gatekeepers. Now for my international audience the word gatekeeping loosely translates to someone who takes it upon themselves to decide who has access or rights in a community. But in my case we're going to talk about this kind of people who feel like they know everything and they're entitled to having their opinion heard. Now I ran a poll on my channel earlier yesterday and uh, a little bit more than half of you said this is a financial community. 15% uh, were like meh. 27% of you guys were like I prefer really not to um, not to speak. And 4% were like it has some toxic people. Now all this came from an incident uh, this past weekend in my discord server where I had a pretty lengthy and now that I think about it useless argument with some self-appointed professionals so this all stemmed from training and can you imagine that one of these boys had the audacity to tell me to stop making training videos that apparently i wasn't doing it right and we had this back and forth and i was trying to like have a constructive debate i was willing to also explain how i come up you know with every schedule and then these guys go ahead and say you can't use logic in top 11. Honestly, that was the dumbest thing I've had in a very long time. Or seen in the text because that's what actually really happened. Anyway, it turned out that these were just a bunch of 14-year-olds. And I was really ashamed that I had wasted more than an hour of my time trying to explain logic to someone who's a decade younger than me. Well, it's almost a decade because my birthday is on the 27th of this month. Anyway, another incident that I noticed was in the top 11 official Discord. Now, someone... <sighs> Now someone was having problems with the event, this um, where would I forget this now? Oh, that tour at the Mexico event, yes. He was having problems with that event. So he comes and he posts and he's asking for advice how to beat this formation. And then this random boy self-appointed coach whatever gives him a long rant about how bad his team is and you know some of those things were uncalled for and i'd speak up I asked him he has just asked to beat the event not all this that you're texting and based on the resources your advice is useless to him like he's no he's going to be able to change his team the way this so-called professional had legislated and this toxicity still continues. Like no wonder the active online community is small. Like for a game with 100 million downloads from the store and the community is this small. There has to be a problem somewhere. Now yes it does not really mean that um, the toxic people in the community are to blame for this. There are other factors at play but they are still one of those factors that's limiting the growth of this top 11 community. And one thing they should understand is that they are the minority. Yes, I said it. These so-called professionals are the minority. I don't think they make up more than like 2% of the people that actually play the game. And one main thing is that these casuals and the intermediates keep being bullied. And you know, when someone gives you like this bullshit advice, and what are you going to do? You're obviously going to stop playing the game. None of these professionals, in quotes, said, that I should be doing bigger budgets and wait for a little longer and you know get more rest packs. I asked him why, what for? Oh, yes, yeah, I will get a better player, but my audience on YouTube are mainly casuals and intermediate. And you want me to tell someone to wait two months to get the resources to train one player? Let me tell them to spend hours looking for a fast train on the market, or even worse, looking for a specific position, the specific play style, and also making sure it's a fast trainer. That's just pure madness. No wonder the likes of Apollo Rock no longer make content because here is the thing. The casuals, the intermediates, they won't understand your content. They won't relate to it. And then the so-called professionals, they have this sense of ego whereby they feel like they already know what they know. So they're not going to watch your content either. And what happens? No one's watching your content. So the content creator dies out just like that. I mean, and this is exactly what's also happening to this guy, Stefan Bezde my boy now that's why i make the, my schedules the way they are i help everyone get the best version of a player depending on whatever race packs they have if you have 200 you can still get a player who will make your team play better 
you have 400 same thing all the way to 1300 you know if you have that much which i can assure you no casual player has that much and again this is the large majority of people that play the game so with my shade is you make a player with the most white skills possible for the rest pack budget that you have in short my schedules are the best yes um i don't care what these so-called professionals think um is that even a thing how can you be professional in a game that doesn't have a professional division that's just dumb man if you want to doubt me i challenge it you know the so-called professionals to come at me and try to prove me wrong use my shady and see what is better i just want to find out whether training logically is better than training illogically that sounded really hard but uh, it made no sense anyways thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content and i'll see you next time Peace.